Hey old soul, just over a year ago I sold everything I owned in Australia and moved with my ex-husband and three kids to this beautiful land of Bali. Now I travel first class around the world teaching people how to manifest their dream life. If you are ready to step into a paradigm that's so wild, so freeing, so abundant, then you're exactly where you need to be. Welcome. Everybody now in your head, in your head, zombie, 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 e, e. okay, you've come here for some inspiration, some inspiration, some motivation, some relaxation, goodness, let's go, let's rock and roll, how to future pace, so that you can manifest a life beyond your wildest dreams, to manifest a life beyond anything that it seems, because hey, you were made for so much more. And there is a world out there that is in awe of everything that you adore. Okay, itchy nose, let's dive in. What is coming through for the channel? Itchy nose, all oh, the senses are heightened today. Hip, hip, hooray. Okay, guys, future pacing. What is future pacing? How can we use future pacing so that we can manifest a life beyond our wildest dreams? You all have heard me constantly say that you are your reality. Your dreams are you. The reason that you desire your dreams is because a future version of you has already manifested them. And everything that you desire is because you've already been there in some way, shape or form. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Jill. Okay, let's rock and roll. So you desire it because your soul has already been there. Your soul has already like lived out this whole life a million times over. Like it's been every single facet, every single nook and cranny and beautiful place that you're embracing. So in order for us to go from where you are now to where you desire, because remember that time's an illusion. Time doesn't exist. Time is just the illusion that we've created to get to point A, to get to point B. And so in order to really truly manifest in quantum leap, what you can do is you can get out a journal and a pen and actually write out life as if it's happening from that date, as if you've already done that. So you're writing a diary entry from the date of it already manifesting. Hey, beautiful. So from the date of it already manifesting. So what you would do is write out something like, it's May 13th, 2024, and I have manifested whatever it is that you want. Maybe it's concert tickets. Maybe it's X amount of money every single month, and you're writing it out as if it's already happened. I now have this in my wallet or whatever it is, and I am experiencing this, and you just start channeling it, channel, channel, channel. If you're really, really stuck in your head because of trauma, what you can do is try to write with the left hand instead of the right hand. If you're right-handed, then both left-handed. And you're literally just writing it out, writing out this beautiful diary entry as if you're already there. And then what happens is that you start to feel into the energy. You feel into a place in the quantum field that you have already been to. Remember that you've already been here. Remember that you're just remembering. It's a, excuse me, a remembrance of where you've already been because you've already been everywhere. You know, people are like, oh my gosh, I got deja vu. I'm like, deja vu was like literally just your mind coming back in sync with where your soul has already been. You've already been everywhere. You know, you're like, I feel like I've been here before. Yes, you have been there before. You know, when you start getting really, really, really excited and you don't know why you're excited, it's because you can sense, you're using your sixth sense to sense into the manifestation that's coming. You already know it's coming. You already know it's yours, but we are constantly at war with me at the start in your head. We're at war in our head because our mind is like, please don't go to all those places. I want to keep you stuck because it's safe right here. It's safe right here. But when you're moving to all these different places in your psyche, you know, places that you've already been, it's terrifying. Please don't take me there. Please don't move me there. It's scary. And so your job is to get this little inner child, this little, this little uh, break, if you will, that's constantly like, don't go there, don't move there, to be like, it's okay. I've been here a million times before. You've been to your wildest dreams before. That's why they are your wildest dreams, not someone else's wildest dreams. The key to remembering how powerful you are and that you've been everywhere is just to constantly remind yourself that it wouldn't be yours if you hadn't been there before, if your mind hadn't scouted out. It's almost like before your soul comes into planet Earth, it like goes on a little scout. It's like, 
oh, let's have that goal and dream. Let's have this. Let's have that. You're going to be doing all these beautiful things. Let's choose these parents. Let's create the recipe of this person's life so that they can play out the role and live the life that your soul has chosen. There is no coincidence that your soul chose the exact time and place of birth for you to have the exact star sign combination, for you to have the exact human design, the exact every single thing, the exact um, or Chinese spirit animals, like whatever it is in your chart, you have chosen this beautiful path of life and now you actually get to live it out. It's like going on a holiday. Your soul's on a holiday and your soul mapped it all out. And it's like, oh, you can be a Gemini in this lifetime. Oh, you can be this in this lifetime. Oh, you can have the um, Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon or whatever it is that you desire. It's like, you have that, you have that. So your soul is like, let me map out this beautiful holiday as Eva Kasitsky. Let's choose that you'll live this many years and you'll have these experiences. Okay, cool, drop in, drop in. And you drop in and you live out this beautiful life and you're like, oh, I remember being here. It's like, yes, because you booked that trip on your holiday. You know, you booked that city on your holiday. You've been there before. You've been everywhere before. Your soul has literally been to every nook and facet. Your soul knows everything. It knows where you're going. It knows what's happening today. And this is why it's quite funny and quite trippy. And I'm very, very, very deep. What you have to understand is that when you do something that may be scary, that may be hard to encounter and encompass and go towards, what you have to understand is that on some level, your soul knew you were going towards that. You knew on some level and your mind was like, please don't do it, please don't do it. And so you've got to constantly tune into the goal that your soul has already mapped out before you even incarnated into this lifetime. It's not a coincidence that that is your goal that that's what you desire, that that's what you're calling in because you've chosen that before birth. It is yours. It is done. It has always been yours. But the journey is quietening the mind, quietening the ego, allowing the ego to die, allowing all those bullshit distortions. Like, I don't have enough money. I don't have this. I don't have that. Oh, get all the shit. Egoic distortions. They're not yours. They were never yours. They are the collectives. They are instilled in us so you don't grow and you don't expand and you don't live out your soul's purpose. And so future pacing is a really powerful exercise where you can get your mind, body, and soul. Because remember, we've got this subconscious that's like, oh, please don't go there. No, 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 no. Your subconscious is like, your, your ego is like this worried, overbearing parent that's like, please don't go, please don't go, please don't go. And you have to be the parent and be like, it's safe. Just let me experience this. Let me experience this. Like, I've got this. I've got life. Like, I knew this whole fucking journey before I incarnated here. I wouldn't have done it. You wouldn't have been here. Your soul is like, yes, go through it all. And so when you're like, I shouldn't be here, it's like, your soul's like, what do you mean you shouldn't be here? You, uh, you mapped that out before you incarnated. Calm down. Enjoy it. There is no right or wrong, good or bad. There is no where you shouldn't be or where you should be. It's just, you're just there. When you go on a holiday, you don't go, oh no, that, that, that skiing was a bad choice and canoeing was a good choice and I shouldn't have gone skiing and I should have gone canoeing. No, you just receive the entire holiday in all of its entirety and you enjoy every facet of the holiday because you chose the holiday and your soul is on a holiday and so enjoy the holiday, enjoy every facet of it, know that your goals and dreams are coming because, well, you pre-planned them for this holiday of life. Stop overthinking them. Stop getting stuck in your ego and thinking that it should be a way other than it is. No, it shouldn't. It's like a surprise holiday. And well, you may not like surprises, but <laughs> welcome to planet Earth. It's full of surprises because you started with amnesia and you've got to keep waking up and remembering. Oh, yes, I have been here before. I remember planning this up in the cloud. Oh, yes, this person. I was actually journaling the other night because I had this dream about this girl called Rebecca. And I was like, okay, hold on. And it started to come through and I was like, whoa, there have been three Rebecca's in my life that I have met. And, you know, one was a sister-in-law, one was someone back in Australia, and one was a lady here in Bali. Now, really beautiful. Each of them is such beautiful, phenomenal women, but they trigger the fuck out of me. I've never met someone that's triggered me more than these, these three women. And I was journaling and I was like, oh my gosh their name is Rebecca. And Rebecca means to tie or bond, which is so interesting. Every single name has a very, very, very unique vibration. If you never looked up the meaning of your name, definitely look it up because again, your soul chose all of it. Ever in Hebrew means life. I am life. I am life force. It's beautiful. But yeah, don't create labels around anything. Just understand that 
your soul pre-planned this holiday here on planet earth your body is the the vessel the the car the vehicle for this lifetime for your holiday so you can just travel and enjoy and flow but your ego is the like passenger in the car that's like no let's go this way let's go this way let's go this way and your soul's just like when you stick to the roadmap of the holiday it feels easy it feels expansive it feels light it feels effortless but when you go off course because bloody tom dick and harry in the back are like don't do that that's too scary don't do this then it starts to feel resistant so your job is to constantly trust the dreams within you because your soul chose them for you. It is not a coincidence that you have those dreams. You're not some idiot that's like dreaming too big or too small. Your soul pre-chose those dreams for you. They're your dreams. They are what you're meant to experience in this lifetime or they wouldn't be your dreams. So lean into them. Trust them. You will have every single person go, oh, that's too big or you're aiming too high or all this bullshit because it's projections from the distortions of their ego to keep them safe. But you have to trust, trust and know you were given those dreams. They are your dreams. They are manifesting. Don't fear it anymore. Don't fear it. Just believe it. Don't stop. Believe and just don't stop. Trust yourself. Back yourself. When you feel like it's not working, it is working. When it looks like things are going the opposite direction, of course, everything's working my way. I love the story of the bamboo tree because... It takes the bamboo tree six years. It grows underground, 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 underground. And then on the sixth year, it grows so freaking fast that you can actually sometimes even see it growing. Trust, trust, trust. There is no right or wrong, good or bad. There's no way you shouldn't be. Everything is serving you greatly. The universe is so abundant. There are so many blessings. There are so many miracles. If you feel something that expands you, just keep walking towards it. You don't need to know the how, just keep walking towards it. It's yours, it's done. You're making the invisible visible, just like the bamboo tree. You know the roots are growing under the ground and they are growing stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger every single day. They're growing stronger and stronger and stronger and then <gasps> But you had to work and keep creating the roots underneath the ground. Keep creating the roots that you cannot see, that no one else can see because you know that you're still creating the roots. Every time you believe that everything that you're doing is making you a millionaire, that everything that you're doing is making you healthy, wealthy, rich, whatever it is that you desire, you just keep reinforcing that belief system. That belief system is the root. It's growing more and more and more and more and more. You may not be able to see it right now, but trust because it is growing and roots have to grow underneath the surface. It's how nature works. Everything in nature starts underground. You cannot see it. And then all of a sudden it's just like, and you're just like, holy crap. I'm not saying you have to do it for this long, but honestly, it took me three decades. It took me so long. It would have taken me 15 years of personal development to start to really see just like, whoa, things are working. So stay with it. Stay with it. A lot of the work that I do with my clients is speed up that process because I don't want people to have to go through that period that it took me. But know that things in this reality need roots. They need a foundation. And yes, we can collapse time in any given moment. But know that there is a universal law of gestation and everything you're doing right now is serving you and the goals are within you. They've always been within you. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Everything is coming. Expect miracles. Expect it to be so beautiful. You don't even know what hit you. And remember that everything is a miracle. Everything in life is beautiful. Don't only be happy when the money comes in. Be happy when you see 10,000 blades of grass on the ground. Be happy when you see 10,000 little granules of sand on the beach. Be happy with all of it. When you really look around, you see how abundant this world is. There is nothing in this world but abundance. That's why when you're stuck in fear, lack, and scarcity, it feels so uncomfortable because you're out of sync with the rules of nature. And when you're out of sync with nature, it makes you stagnant. Your job is to be like the current. Be the current in this universe. Be the current that is still but it's moving ever so beautifully and it never stops moving. The current is always going and sometimes it goes east and west and north and south, but the current never stops moving. And when you go against the current, there's the resistance. And so you wanna be with the current. And so notice what the current of your life is. Notice what your soul's current is because when you are in sync with your current, you're in flow and it's effortless. And sometimes you'll ride the current, you'll ride the current, you'll ride it for one day, two days, 10 years. And then you'll go, hmm, 
I think the current's going a different way. I think I better paddle left instead of right. And then you'll change currents and you'll go in a different direction and you'll be carried. You'll be carried, let life carry you. But you have to make decisions in order to stay on the current. And you have to make these choices every day to stay with the current of your life. And the second you feel resistant, move back in alignment with the current because the current is gonna take you far. But it is an art form to know how to get in with the current of your life. So I truly and utterly hope that this helped you. If you're feeling the current pull, feeling the current pull to come and join me in May in Bali, applications close in three days, lean in. It is gonna be the most wildest current of your life. It's the Kundalini current, it's life force energy current. So it carries you quite quickly. It's a very, very, very strong current. But if you're feeling the pull to come to Bali and change your entire life and go through a five day quantum leap, please, please, please lean in. But if you're not ready for change, don't even, don't even lean in because it's a wild change. It will be rapids, yes. Rapids, rapids, rapids. Enjoy the rapids, the overflow, the evolution. The last one that we did, literally like three people within like two days afterwards, all three of them got $10,000 like in different ways. Like it was wild. I was just like, woohoo. That's what it is. Like money never stops coming. There is more than enough money in this universe. But if you have an energetic block and you're not riding the current of your soul, it slows down. So big love, wealthy old soul. Have the most beautiful, magical, phenomenal day. Hope to see you in Bali. Hip, 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 hooray. Have the best day. Expect miracles. Expect it to be so good you never know what hit you. Big love.